All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of the Soldier series of Mass Effect. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. Okay, let's get down to it here. All right, we're good there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we need to turn in some quests and grab some quests is what we need to do. First thing we're going to do is talk to uh, Admiral Kohoku over here. No, I'm... Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kohoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. Okay. You're really supposed to wait until it's revealed that you're uh, that you get the Normandy. I mean, y'all can watch the previous series, the Engineer series. But, fuck it, I, I get all this stuff now. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm, well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay. Now, we need to go turn in Emily Wong's quest. But we'll go to Flux, because I'm sure we have a quest that Flux as well. We got some levels, too. We got a level, too. I forgot. You always get a level when you become a Spectre, so... Um... We'll go you... And we'll do Spectre training. Alright. Oh, I forgot to do the other two. Okay. Um, we were going to open up electronics. That's what we were going to do with you. And then, with you... I want to get advanced overload for you. I want to open first aid. 
And we'll get advanced sabotage for you. There we go. Okay. Oh! What is it about people who always stand up, they always rub their hands? I mean, that's just the thing of Mass Effect. For some reason, when people get up, they rub their hands. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know, Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Okay. Hey, Jenna Key, I'm looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Okay, so we're gonna go have a little chat with Doran here. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. All right. Yes, you can play some Quasar, but I don't play it because you don't get a lot of credits for it, so... So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. <laughs> okay. Down here is where we'll find Emily Wong. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Now, there are OSDs in his office. They're sitting right in the middle of the floor. Um, you pick them up right when um, the timer for saving Tally pops up. So These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. All right. <laughs> Now I'm going to check out the stores real quick, just so I can get the upgrades. Uh, 
Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Okay. So I want the licenses. That's what I'm really after. For the Quartermaster. There are mods where you get more licenses. Like you get the Cerberus license and the Black Market license and all that. I didn't get that because I don't need it. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. I can't afford armors yet, so I'm not going to look at them. I want that license. I want the Metagel upgrade. The Metagel upgrade. There we go. I should, now that I'm thinking about it, for the pistol, put um, Stinger on. There we go, even though I can't use it yet. But Tally needs a new pistol, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, let's see here. Edge is going to be the way to go. Um, organics. Okay. Garrus needs a new rifle. This is my rifle. This is my gun. <laughs> All right. There we go. And we'll do recoil dampener. So he can be more accurate. And let's see here. We'll do phasic rounds three. Then I want to... Now that I'm thinking about it, I want to do... Junk, junk, junk. Junk, 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 junk. Okay. This tally will need a new shotgun. I know that. Junk, 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 junk. And you can get a hammerhead round for that. And nothing there for now. Junk, junk, well, maybe not. Junk, 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 okay. And... There. All right. Okay. So, remember when I pointed out this Anar and CSEC officer? We can now do its quest because um, we did the... Um, we're now a Spectre, so... That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. 
I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Han our language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay. So now, we're gonna run over to the financial district, just so we can hit the, hit Dellen's shop. Hey, she's here. Helena Blake is here. I thought you had to wait till after you went to Artemis Owl. For a moment, Spectre. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. So, we got a little renegade for doing this, but that's okay. We'll get the Paragon for it once we um, do the quest. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. So we get the Serta. Okay. Okay, and I think that's it. So I will be back when we get to the ship. Well, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so first we need to come down here. I forgot about this. We need to come down here. To the requisitions officer. One sec. Looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So... Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. 
Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, so these are the Spectre weapons. They're the best weapons in the game. Can't afford them, obviously. We'll take that, the license, and there we go. So Garrus gets a new piece of armor. There we go. You get a shield regenerator. And Miss Tally is going to get the stimulant pack. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to go to the ship. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us get scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop it. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. 
I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. So, one of the mods I have is the fast airlock. Stand by to decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Yeah, I think the first one, um, you have to do this because it's loading the cutscene. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. The Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we get to um, go around the ship, talk to people, check for um, examine points for experience. Um, yeah, that's a galaxy map. Okay. Um, so we'll go downstairs. There's nothing up here. So. I could have done faster elevator, but for mod, but nah, I don't need faster elevator. The elevators are not that bad in this game. The original, they were horrible, but this one, they're not bad, so. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. 
But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Nothing really? Okay. We'll inspect the Mako. Thank you for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Alright, so Ashley, you cannot talk to because, well, you can, but she'll say, oh, I need to uh, get my duty squared away. So, don't need to waste time. God, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. Shepard. Quarian Tally. She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now... I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. 
We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I should go. Okay, we got a level for that. Nice. There, we'll get Unity for Shepard. Okay, and then we'll go back upstairs, and then we'll head out into the Traverse. Looks like my add-ons or my mods aren't working. Shit. All right, so now I got my um add-ons working here. One of them is um, this right here, the um, Galaxy Map Tracker. This is a nice one to have. Um, there's a hostile takeover. We're going to do that one last. Because the enemies in that one are actually pretty strong. So, we want to do these lower quests first. So we're going to do missing person first. In the last series, you saw me do this, surveying the planets and all that, just for the free experience and all that. I'm going to keep it in this time, and it gives me a chance to just bullshit with you, you know? Um, so anyway, I was watching Pearl Davis's channel, um, Just Pearly Things. And, um, she makes a lot of sense, I think. You know, in, in her pre-game show, she was talking about why modern women are useless. They're not useless, but worthless. Okay, there we go. Duh, I'm stupid. <laughs> but anyway, um, she was saying that, yeah, women 
here in the Western world, like, you know, the United States and the UK and all that, um, most women, they, nowadays, they have, like, five, six partners and, um, you know, and they're all me messing around with the same guy type of guys, you know, the ones that have money and are the top you know, five to ten percent of men, and the rest of us peasants, we get nothing. So, you know, um, and she was talking about, well, women need to look at their BMI and And if their BMI is above um, a certain amount, they shouldn't be considering themselves curvy. They should be considering themselves what they actually are, which is obese, which, I mean, I am i can't say nothing. I'm obese myself, so, you know, it's why I stay single, because, you know, I mean, hell, nobody wants a fat guy, so... That's why I kind of keep to myself, you know, so... Securing point. But yeah, being, like I said, I'm obese, you know, I, I really don't have any business dating, so... And I mean, I, I'm working on my weight, I, I, I'm doing my best, you know, dieting and all that, but... A lot of my problem is I take so much insulin that... And insulin is a growth hormone, so, you know, I'm pretty much, the doctors have pretty much told me I'm to the point, no matter how hard I try, I'm not going to lose the weight because I'm insulin dependent. And really, because I'm diabetic and insulin dependent, I mean, it's really not fair that anyone should have to put up with that, you know? I made this choice by not taking care of myself when I was younger, you know, so now I'm paying the price for it, so. So really, I mean, I've got no one to blame myself for it, so. So I've pretty much accepted that I'm, I'm just going to be single my, my whole life, so. And really, I mean, that's good for me, too, you know. I need to not really expect anything, you know. Yeah, I knew you were there, you little son of a bitch.
There we go. We got that Thresher Maw without a problem. I never used to um, shoot the tentacles, but... But actually, I find shooting the tentacles, I can kill the Thresher Maw much faster. So... Let me see here. I want to see what equipment I got for the... Okay. You know, too, I mean, I, I come from a broken home, too, and that that's why I'm really not that great of a... I mean, I'm not really that successful in anything because I never was really allowed to really do anything other than play video games when I was growing up. And so, I mean, that that's one thing, too. I mean, I wish modern parents would see that, you know, you need to quit giving your kids electronics just to shut them up, you know, so you can get five minutes of peace and quiet, you know. I'm on my way. You need to encourage your kids to do things physically and, you know, I mean, I, I wish people would have encouraged me and actually tried to believe in me and all that kind of stuff, but nobody ever did. Nobody really ever did. I mean, I, I was pretty much pretty much every everybody did everything for me, and I was just allowed to just sit down, shut up, and mind my own business. You know, so We leveled up. We're going to get Spectre training up for you. We're going to get Warp up for you, and you need electronics, but you're still not going to have enough. There we go. Oh, we got some items too. Shock absorbers. Okay. Yeah, we want shock absorbers on my armor. So then I'm not affected by biotic attacks. There we go. That'll help. That'll help big time. But what really helps me, though, get through get through the day is um, there's a there's a friend of mine I talk to every day. I mean, I'm sure y'all have seen her, you know, in my comments. We chat through my comments, you know.
and I look forward to talking to her every day. And you know, even if I only get to leave a message for her, I mean, that's fine. You know, I mean, well, she's got her own life to live too. So. Leveled up again. Boom, there we go. Yeah, we'll get Spectre training up just so we can get, um, so we can get more damage. We'll also need assault training. There, all of Rex's, um, talents are unlocked, and so is Hallie's. Next level, we'll get her decryption up to master, which that's what we need. hell we can go back and get that one that we missed because now we got our electronics to master one thing too um i had to turn down the uh, image sharpening to my graphics card for this game so you might tell the difference between the last episode and this one so Daughter. Oh. Nice job, Tally. I know there's a another enemy. She's upstairs. If I can get to her, but I can't from down here. So we'll have to just open this up. Avanchi three. Let's take a look. We'll keep Avenger too. Open that up for a meta gel. Yep, she's up there. Oh, I think we can get her now. Look at that, she's glitched over the Huh. There you go. Always try to use your uh, teammate, your squad mate's powers. That's that's one thing of this game. You want to do that. Because you saw how I just decimated um, enemies with Callie's powers. Avenger 3. Nice. Yoink. Mr. Erdnot, he gets that. We'll put you on. We'll put that on. Let's 
Striker and another Banshee 3. Nice. You already got one. You don't need one. Okay. So we're good on weapons for now. Decryption. Combat Sensor 3. That's nice. Avenger 3. Let's see what the Avenger 3 does for... Oh, it doesn't. Eh. Okay. There was Captain Willem of the Majesty for Gareth. But now we gotta go back and get that um, piece of debris or whatever it was that um, we had to leave behind because we couldn't open it at that time but now we can now that I've got electronics at master so it's down this way You know, I mean, I, I get concerned, though, with, um, you know, where I am. And I mean, I'm, I'm 35 and I'm pretty much nowhere in life, you know. I mean, yeah, I take care. I have my mom to take care of. She's 70 years old and she's getting old and needing help. But really, you look at my sister, she has her own house and brand new car, which, I mean, my mom paid for, but... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much to the point that I'm... I'm, I'm done, pretty much, you know? Hammerhead 3... Okay... Boom, there you go. You know, I, I pretty much accepted where I am at life now, so I mean, I, this is as good as it's ever gonna get, so. I, when I go out anymore, I just hold my head down and just stick to myself, you know? I mean, sometimes you just gotta do that, you know? I mean, really, it's good for me, too, you know? I mean, I'm just in the way when it comes to stuff because I'm really not the world's smartest person either, you know? Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder won't last. Please hurry.
take Caden with us because he's also somewhat of a biotic. Okay. We need your barrier up to advance. We'll get your throw up to advance. We'll concentrate more on um, biotics with you. You a Kessler, all right. Personnel rounds. Radioactive rounds. Okay. Okay. So, another thing that I, I get to as well, you know, I mean, really, I, I wonder with all the crap I've had to deal with my entire life, having that abusive childhood and being where I am, being stuck where I'm at now, you know, not being able to live my own life and all that, I wonder if this is what I was born for. I mean, I wonder if I was sent to this planet to be punished. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I wonder if I did something in a past life that I'm I'm being punished for, you know. Because I do believe in us all having past lives. It's just I I just wonder sometimes that, you know, what what did I do in a past life to have to go through everything that I've gone through, you know? And really, you know, I mean, I, I, I am, I feel better, you know, knowing nowadays that, you know, it, it's just, I'm just better off sticking to myself and, you know, just staying cooped up in my bedroom and my, uh, I'm in my office right now. But, you know, I mean, that, it's primarily where I stay anymore. You know, I don't really go out unless I absolutely have to anymore and... You know, I don't go to restaurants anymore. I don't, you know, I mean, I might go out for lunch once in a while when I'm out, you know, and that's just more to prevent my blood sugar from going low. And But I don't sit at a restaurant and eat anymore because, I mean, I, I don't really belong. Armor piercing round three.
do you have on? Okay. I don't know what that humming is. Like I said, I kind of had to lower the settings to my graphics card because the game crashes sometimes because this game I this game is way too powerful for my computer. Um I have the game set at a frame cap of 30 FPS, but apparently that's not enough because I played earlier and the game crashed my um, graphics card, which I don't like because then I have to forcibly shut off my computer and turn it back on, and I, I don't like doing that. You know, if I want to reset, restart my computer or shut it down, I want to do it properly, not just hold down the power button and shut it off. But no, I mean, I, I, why, I look at social media and I watch how other people, you know, go about living life. And, you know, I mean, that's, that's good enough for me. You know, I mean, it, it's nice seeing people being able to live their lives and be happy and all that. And, you know, I mean, me, on the other hand, I mean, at least I have shelter and food. I mean, that's all I really need, so... We got Master Sabotage. That's what we needed there. So we're good there. So now Tally can open things up without a problem anymore. And... I did eat some jello earlier, you know, that that was kind of nice. I put fruit cocktail in it, it was uh, berry blue flavor is what it was, and it came out pretty good, and, you know, with the fruit cocktail and all that, and... You know, I, I don't know, I might cook, I'm, I might bake a pie this weekend, I'll have to see how things go. I have to be in the mood for the mood to um, bake. I can't really do it just to do it. I I gotta be in the mood for it. If I'm not in the mood for it, I just can't do it. It just doesn't come out right. And it looks like the signal's coming from that wreckage. Careful, Commander. I got a bad feeling. Oh no, shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but really, I mean, I'm really sitting down and thinking this year. I may not go to the family gatherings this year. I mean, we have family gatherings every year for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then Easter, and I don't think I'm going to go this year. Get it. It's a trap.
I mean, really, in actuality, you know, it's really for successful people. And I mean, I'm not successful. I mean, what am I doing there? I'm just pretty much sitting there, stuffing my face. That's all I'm doing, you know. But we got a three on you. Okay. That's the last of them? It is. All right. So I'm going to check the other star cluster here. for this mission because it's a special quest for him actually it's a secret quest is actually what it is Okay. Rex. And of course we bring Tally because she's my tech expert. I need her. Okay. We'll get your heavy armor, so you're good to go there. Okay. But no, my point is, though, you know, talking about, you know, being nowhere in life and all that, I'm pretty much to the point anymore where I know I'm worthless, you know. I, I, I do. I know I'm worthless. I know. I know I'm just not really anything special and I'm just to the point that you know, I, I do this just for fun, but I, I don't know about it. I just kind of just chill and play, you know. That's why I don't play on hardcore or, or um, insanity on this game. I just, I just play just to have fun, you know. I mean, this is really the only thing I'm good at, and it's time to face facts that, you know, I, I'm just not smart enough to succeed in life, you know? And, and that's just how it is. That's just how it is, you know? I am thinking, you know, because... Somebody did recommend this to me. Um, I am thinking I have a vasectomy.
that way then I don't ever have those kinds of urges ever again and it really I wouldn't be a good parent I know I wouldn't be a good parent so I would just screw up my kids just as bad as I've as I messed up so Dude, I can kind of tell, though. This game is running a little better now that I... Low well, actually, I didn't turn off the image sharpening. I actually lowered it. It was set at 80. And I got watching some YouTube videos, and I found um, AMD Radeons. I, I have an AMD Radeon in my computer. It's only a 580 RX, because that's what the computer came with. And that's all I could afford at the time. Um... But I saw on um, on AMD's official YouTube channel, they were talking about the image sharpness feature, and they said um, set it at a percentage of 50 to 60 percent. It's like, well, shit, mine was set at 80. It's like, well, hell, probably no wonder why the hell it's cra it's crashing every time I try to play this game. It's because the image sharpness is set too high. So I turned it down to 50 and want to see how it works. And really, I mean, it looks fine. So far, it's playing fine. It's, um... Yes, I know you're going to bitch at me, Joker, about being outside the operational zone, but... Not my fault BioWare overlooked this, and... Set up a frickin' deposit right here on the edge of it. There we go. Now we're going to see Ton Actus. Because I know exactly what quest this is. But, um, you know, I'll tell you a story when I was growing up. I didn't really have friends growing up. I mean, yeah, there was like one or two kids I played with, but it wasn't very often I played with them. So, so what I would do, um, I had a Game Boy with all the Pokemon games, and the Poke the Pokemon in the games were my friends, you know. It'd be kind of cool if I could get the Pokemon games and get an N64 with both the Pokemon Stadium games and, um... And, and record my 
gameplay footage of the Pokemon games. You know, with Gen 2, I could breed. So anyway, in here, this is why we brought Rex to this mission. Um, there's a special item for Rex in this one. I know who runs this place. Have you been here before? No, but I was planning to come here before you and I met. This place belongs to a Turian scum named Ton Actus. It's a long story, but he's got something that belongs to me. Well, what is it? Family armor. It's been with us for over five generations. Turian military took it from my father's father after the war. Somehow this ass wound up with it. I want it back. We'll get it back. Now let's move. Right behind you. Okay. Okay, we got you to advance. We got you to advance. You're not taking as much damage. Okay. Um. Do your shotguns. And we'll teach you the rest of your... They're all upstairs, okay? So if they're gonna be upstairs, we'll just chill over here and we'll get the stuff down here. Reaper 4. Boom. Okay. Wasn't there one down here? I think so. Nope, there wasn't. Not your ass. There we go. He snuck up on me. <laughs> and so did you, you little son of a bitch. Ah. Oh, we got Bruiser. Nice. I got the bruiser achievement. That's cool. Huh. Motorized joints. Chemical rounds. That's what I was looking for. 
Okay. Another chemical round, sweet. So Mr. Rex can use chemical rounds. Nice. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Right on, Rex. All right, let's check Tally. Make sure she has them. We'll keep one. Keep that. Okay. Keep those, keep that, keep those two. Okay. We'll keep a banshee. Check Erdnot Rex here. Shimitar. Okay. Okay. Keep an edge. We'll keep a reaper. Keep those, because we'll need them. Survivor does not help. But heavy survivor kind of helps. We'll give you first aid interface. Why not? One... So now we got that all prepared. Now we can go downstairs and um, talk to the quartermaster. See about um, upgrading my equipment some. Okay, so down to the quartermaster. Then we'll talk to everyone too. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Sell all junk. Oh, I didn't check the... That's okay. 
What do we got here? Common, common, limited. Nope. Nope. Limited. Do a little more damage. Okay. Shotgun, we'll grab you. Oh, it's common though. There we go, Avenger 4, Storm 4, Scorpion 4, it's heavy, so that's good there. I do want to check Garrus' armor before I ditch that. Reaper 3, there we go. Oh, you can't quite wear them yet, okay. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father... He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules. CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. I don't know what it is about this game, but the audio to this game is not the greatest. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open-door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. Alright. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. 
A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. Okay. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good. But I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. He leveled up. Nice. All right. We'll do fitness next. Just to get my health up. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? I find it rather peaceful. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, 
There's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Okay. So we got everyone to talk to. We upgraded my equipment some. Now we'll go out and do another mission. We'll do a few missions, actually. Build up the equipment again and... Check the grenades. We'll leave high explosive on for now. Okay, we'll do Missing Marines next. Artemis Tau, we'll explore that later. Because that's where we find Liara. So I'll explore it later, but I just want to get this quest done now. Just to have it done. Get some more experience, get some more credits and stuff like that. So... Okay. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. This one, it doesn't matter who we take because we're not going to be fighting outside the Mako. So we'll probably bring Ashley since she hasn't been out in a while. Okay. There, we got her guns leveled for now. And Miss Tally. We'll get your shotguns. Oh, that's what this mod does. It shows it on the map. Okay. Okay. I thought it showed a HUD, but apparently it doesn't. It just shows it on the map. Okay, so this mod is working. Okay, without the mod, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like uh, Uncharted World Trackers, whatever. Um, it puts everything on the map. These hidden, um, these hidden 
Yeah, deposits. Is it up? It looks like it's up. Yep, it's up. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get up. There we go. Finally. I hate these craggy worlds like this. I really do because they're really hard to traverse. But no, there is a mod, now that I'm thinking about it, there is a mod um, where you can add Pinnacle Station to the game. For some reason, they didn't include it in Legendary Edition. I don't understand why. I heard the story is the data got corrupt in BioWare's headquarters, and that's why they couldn't include it. But you can you can install it with a mod, and it does work. I I'm not a fan of Pinnacle Station because all all it is, it's just a time trial of missions, and then at the end of it, when you complete all the missions, you get this apartment where you get free items, and you do get the best armor in the game from those items. But it's like. You got to be really patient. You got to keep going out and coming back in to um, get the items to respawn. And it's just completely random what you get. And There we go. All right. Now, um, one thing I've noticed, I actually noticed this a couple weeks ago, I have not seen robins around here. And I'm wondering if they went south already. I'm thinking they did. Um, but I have been seeing bald eagles. And it's actually pretty early to start seeing them. They usually come out here for the winter because there's an old railroad bridge um, standing in the river from the town I live in early years. And um, also down river is, um, well, no, I think up river is um, Lock and Dam is one of the Lock and Dams. I'm not going to say which one, but. I do know which one it is, but I'm not going to say which one it is, though. Hell, I remember as a kid in elementary school, they used to, the teachers used to take us to the river in the wintertime, you know, November, December, on Fridays, you know, just to waste time because, hell, it was Friday. They, they wanted, they didn't want to really do anything either, you know, so... They would just take us out to the river. And this was, you know, in the 90s. So this was pre-9-11. So they could do a lot more stuff in the schools than what they can now. Um, but yeah, walking down to the river, it was only like two or three blocks away from the school. So, I mean, it was walking distance. And yeah, I remember we used to see the... Um, we used to see the bald eagles. They would fly around the river. They were feeding. It was cool. I remember one time I saw one of the bald eagles. They went down and got a fish. It was pretty cool seeing them fly off with it, too. It, it, it was really cool. You know, I mean, I've seen that many times, like on YouTube and all that, of the eagle flying off with a fish. But to actually see it with your own eyes in real life, you know, not 
from a TV screen or anything like that. I mean, it, it's just, there's just nothing like it. It's so cool. It's so cool. Okay. So this is the warning, so I know what's here. It is a Thresher Maw. No shit, I took that Thresher Maw down without having to go after his tentacles. Wow, that's pretty neat. <laughs> I should have brought an Alliance person with me. Oh, I did bring an Alliance person with me. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the Distress Beacon. These are Admiral Kahoku's men. Tell him what happened here. Oh, we will. We will. Okay. I think I'll do one more mission and then I'll have to call it a day on this video. So this one might be shorter than the last video. But, um... It's pretty late at night and I have to get some sleep, so... Okay. We'll do the missing survey team. Why not? Okay. Oh. Well, I don't know. I might do one more. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, so the survey team is all a bunch of... Oh, 
Okay. I won't tell you what they are, but I know what they are. Make sure I have my... Yes, I do. Okay. I forgot. We need to do gears. Get your salt training up a little. We'll get these. Get your sniper rifles up. Okay. Three, we're good there. We'll do tactical armor next level. Just so we can get him up to medium. Okay. What do we got here? Is this what I think it is? I don't think so, but I may be wrong. It is what I think it is. Damn, I just murdered that Thresher Ma. I just murdered that Thresher Ma. <laughs> I-I don't know, why are they not sticking their, um, sensor, sensor tentacles up, I wonder. Is it because I keep killing them? I mean, I don't know. There's our level. I, I knew we were going to level, so... Um, what am I going to do with you? You for immunity. Um, you for medium armor. And you for to get your shotguns up as well so you can be more accurate. All right. Used to what you could do in the old in the old version of this game with the Thresher Maws, you could sit in one spot and he'd just keep spitting acid at you if you were far enough away, but close enough where he wouldn't um, burrow back down. And I think Bioware caught on to people doing that. And that's why they changed how the Thresher Maws act. They also changed how the acid spit works too. It's now a spread shot instead of just one single little shot that you could just jump over, you know? Because every time he'd spit his acid at you, you could just jump over it, you know? And you wouldn't get hit. 
So, I mean, yeah, it was cheap. I remember the first time I took on a Thresher Maw. It went horribly wrong. Not in this version, but in the old game, back when the old game first came out. Back in 07. See, and I, I, what I love about this series is it's a choose-your-own-adventure game. It, it really is. Okay, so we're going to see some enemies over here. If we get out of the Mako, we get more experience for killing them. Because if you kill enemies in the Mako, you only get half experience. There we go. See, it's kind of like the same as Borderlands. Those that have played Borderlands. Um, when you kill enemies in the vehicle, I don't think I'm going to get this one this time. Nope, I'm not. It's, it's a really bad one. All right, this one's better. There we go. Stimulant 3. What do you have on, Tally? Stimulant 3, what What do you have on, Garrus? You can have that. There. Now you have medium armor. you should. Yep, you do. All right. All right. So now we get to go to the next one. Which is over here. We'll disable the transmitter. And then we'll get the lithium deposit before we go into the research base. That way then we can have all this extra stuff done. When we get done at the base, we can get out of here, you know?
So here we go. This uranium deposit. Okay, and now we're going to the research base. Which isn't far, it looks like. Gee, you think, Garrus? According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. We should check out the excavation site. Could be some answers there. Okay, but first we'll open this locker. Didn't get shit for it, but that's okay. We could always sell it. Now, we go over here to the excavation site where we'll have some fun down there. fanatics whatever they found it's long gone now right now what you want to do is you want to get close to this door okay you can use overload Garrus, get out of the way! And there's all the Exogeny survey team. They were converted into us, just like in Eden Prime, but... They don't know how it happened, so... But those canisters you see, you can shoot them, but if you use overload or sabotage on them, they cause more... Exp they have a bigger explosion. So, don't shoot them. Use your, um... Sabotage or... Overload on them.
Okay, and I know there's some hidden items around here. Like, here's one. Here's two. Here's a third. There we go. Now we'll get out of here. Get back on the ship and I think I'm going to have to call it for this video. So... So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you all had fun in this episode. I did with these mods. It's so much more fun to play this game. And I will see you all in the next episode.